Hey everyone! Um, so summer is here for many of us and I thought it would be a perfect time to kind of do a nice kind of beachy sunset inspired makeup tutorial um, as I would likely wear this throughout the day but if you want something a little bit more fresh and dewy looking um, then you're not going to want this makeup tutorial but if you do want something a little bit smokier, a little bit sultrier, something a little more sun kissed then this is what you're going to be looking for. Um, so the palette that I'm using today is from my Tokidoki Special Edition Robbery Palette and one of the ones that came in it was this one and I, none of the palettes really came with individual names so I call them what the blushes are called and so I'm calling this one Royal Pride and as you can see it's very um, shimmery all of these things are shimmery um, this is technically a bronzer not a blush um, but all of the shades are shimmery and if you want to do a bronzer um, I hear that using a matte bronzer is a lot better but I think that if you use a kind of a slightly shimmery not like overly sparkly bronzer and kind of dust it over your face very lightly I think that you can achieve a sun-kissed glow without feeling like you're covered in glitter um, but uh, as for the rest of the colors all of them are extremely sparkly so if that's not your thing then you you might want to find similar colors just in a matte palette um, but I feel like this is kind of nice because it gives it um, a sheen that gives it kind of like a wet look almost um, which is kind of nice for summer um, as you can see I've already done one eye and I've done all of my uh, other face makeup foundation all of that other stuff and I will go over that a little bit later um, but for right now I'm just going to start doing um, the other eye so that you can see and then I'll recap what I did um, for the rest of my face later on. Okay, so let's get started. Hey everyone! So I'm going to start with this flat shader brush and taking Lion Papa which is a bronzy color or copper color Packing that onto the brush, I'm going to put that all over my lid. Next I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and my 80 Original Palette from Costa Sense. Then I'm taking this medium yellow gold tone eyeshadow. And swirling my brush in it, I'm going to put that on the inner corner of my eye, kind of in the crease. Then taking my 88 palette once more, I'm going to take this medium brown color. And with my fluffy brush, I'm going to start defining my crease. I'm going to apply that in a side-to-side -side motion, just rocking it back and forth into my crease. Then I'm taking my shader brush again, and I'm taking the shade Ercolino, which is a brighter copper shade. And I'm going to apply that to the outer corner of my eye. This is to start to get a kind of sunset effect. Then I'm going to take an angled eyeliner brush from Pico Tools and with a slightly lighter medium brown shade, I'm going to start smudging that into my lash line. You want this look to be very smoky and blended out, so don't worry too much about getting a precise line. Then I'm going to take this bronzy shade and mix it with the lighter brown next to it. They're both shimmery shades. I'm going to also put that in my lash line, but on my upper lash line.
Then I'm taking these two, or rather, this really dark brown shade. And I'm going to smudge that into my upper lash line just to darken it and to make the illusion of thicker lashes. After that, I'm taking Air Colino again. And I'm putting that on the outer half of my lower lash line. After that, I'm taking Lion Papa again with my Ingalls eyeliner brush. I'm going to put that on the inner half of my lower lash line. The good thing about using shimmery eyeshadows is that it gives your eyes kind of a wet look, which is kind of a neat and romantic effect. Now I'm taking the really dark brown from the palette and using my angled eyeliner brush again, I'm going to smudge it into my lash line and this shade is called Bulletto. I'm also applying this to my waterline. Then I'm taking that really dark brown shade again from my 88 Crystal Sense palette. And I'm going to apply that to my upper waterline, being very careful not to put my Then I'm going to mix these two peachy orange colors together. And this is going to act as my transitional shade from my socket to my brow bone. Taking the dark brown once more on my fluffy brush, I'm going to deepen the crease. Then I'm going to take the soft gold shade from the palette called Savannah and using my angle brush, I'm going to put that on the inner corner of my eye. Next I'm going to mix these two colors, an off-white and that light golden yellow from before. And this is going to make the highlight. Now I'm taking my favorite eye uh, mascara, excuse me, Maybelline's Full and, Full and Soft Mascara, and I'm going to apply that generously to my top lashes. Being careful not to smudge it onto my lid. Okay, so now to finish up, what I'm gonna do, here, let me put my glasses back on. Now what I'm gonna do to finish up is I'm going to apply a peachy colored gloss and I'm just gonna do one that has minimal sparkles in it. And this is a Smashbox Duo um, lip gloss. And I can't remember exactly uh, what these duos are called, like their exact name, um, but it's two shades and it has like the applicators in the middle that connects them. And these two shades are Buff and Candid. Uh, this is Buff and then this is Candid. Uh, buff is like a peachy color that has very minimal shimmer. And then Candid is a little bit deeper of a rose color and it has kind of a, glow, a gold sparkle in it. Um, so it's up to you what you want to wear, but I'm just going to do a little bit. I'm going to do buff and then I might put Candid on the center of my lips. So there's buff, and um, it's just to kind of give a little bit of gloss without putting much color on your lips. And then I just put a little bit of Candid in the center of the lip, and you might not even be able to tell, um, but it is there. 
and that's just to give a little bit more dimension with that more intense sparkle. Okay, so this is the final look. Um, so I think this is a little bit more sultry, a little bit more evening appropriate, but of course you can do whatever you like. Um, and then of course you can make it a little bit more dramatic, you can add false lashes, you can do a bold lip, whatever you want, but this is just kind of like my idea of what, you know, a nice summery look would be. Um, but yeah, so if you like this look, please give me a like, and if you want you can add it to your favorites, both buttons are below. And then if you like what you see here and you want to see more and like and uh, have seen any of my videos in the past and also like them, then you can, if you would, please subscribe to me. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit more regular with the output of my videos, um, so hopefully I'll have something a little bit more um, organized for everybody. And if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please feel free to private message me or comment below. So that is it for the tutorial, and I will see you guys later. Bye!